All right, guys, let's talk about FAQ number three, the most popular question people ask when it comes to systemic IO and how to go about it. Now, if you look at my details right here, the question I receive and the question I know based on my research from the internet, what people have been asking about systemic.io number three is how do I set up payment gateway in systemic.io? How do I get payment for my product, for my services so that when people patronize me, they are able to pay me for my services. Okay, it's very simple, right? At first, you will not see it here. If you are looking for it around this place, you will never see it. So this is what you need to do. You go down. You can see after sales, you go, you will see help. After help, you come to this place. All right, so you, you will never see it at this place, right? You never see it openly or visibly telling you, oh, just collect your payment. So what you need to do is you need to go to set up, right? You need to go to the settings and click on settings. I meant to click on settings. You will now see the, your information. Look at your settings and you now see your profile, your name, everything that you have that concerns systemic.io is all here. So by your left hand corner, look at your left hand corner. You will see all this stuff. You will see account, my plant, and you will now see payment gateway. This is what we are looking for. So you click on payment gateway. When you click on payment gateway, you're going to see a lot of options that you can connect your systemic IO account to receive payment, right? First on the list is Stripe. If you have Stripe account, just click on connect. It will ask you to put in your details about Stripe, right? To open an interface for you where you can connect with your Stripe account. Now, for those of you, if you operate in a country where you have Stripe option, you can literally just connect it. See the option? Get started, just enter your email. It will sign you in. You will log into your Stripe account and you can connect it immediately. That is option number one for you to get your payment. Option number two is actually PayPal. If you receive payment through PayPal like I do, you can literally just go ahead and connect your PayPal. Click it, it will show you the prompt on how you can connect with your PayPal. You can see my own here too. Then you have other options, right? Like Mercado and the rest, other options. You have a Flutter Wave. If you are using Flutter Wave, this is fantastic. Just click. The steps are very easy for you to follow. But by the way, if you want me to, to, uh, to do a video about any of these options, I will do for you. Now, if you're in Nigeria, Paystack is a good option for you. Just click on Paystack and to give you options on your paystack account you will see this secret access token that you can just bring here and paste the moment you paste your secret access token it will give you an option of your type of account click the account save and it will integrate with your paystack account that you've created you know what i'm going to do a tutorial for paystack account i will put the link below this video for you guys to watch it i've not done it yet but the moment i do I'm going to put the link below on the description and on the comment so that you can just go watch for PayPal specifically if you have PayPal um, account for this step. Then you can see. Now, one new option that is very good is cash on delivery. Can you imagine? These guys introduce cash on delivery, right? right? Where it allows you to be able to literally... Where you can have cash on delivery for on these options you can give instruction on how you want to go about receiving your cash i think it's a good one too i'm going to do a video on this so that we can just go in details and i'll explain everything so this is how you go and you link up with your payment gateway so that you can receive money on your systemio.io account if you are selling digital products or physical products the same way all right guys see you in the next one that is FAQ number three. See you in FAQ number four.